Hi everyone, my name is Albert and today I'd like to talk to you about using your trace data for monitoring and alerting of application health and not just for debugging. If you're already using a distributed tracing solution like Jaeger, um, hopefully this will give you an appreciation for the additional value that you could gain from your span data um, without adding more metrics instrumentation. And if you're new to distributed tracing, um, hopefully this will give you some motivation to start instrumenting your services and take advantage of the application health monitoring you could you could get for free along with the trace data. So just a little bit about myself. I'm a Jaeger maintainer working at Logs.io uh, on our distributed tracing product. And funnily enough, it's uh, based on Jaeger. Uh, when I do have some spare time, I like to walk around the garden and just get my hands dirty, uh, literally uh, growing vegetables and fruit. So uh, traces are a goldmine of, of observability data. Uh, it's rich in context and detail, but um, actually not, the majority of those traces are actually not that interesting. Um, once in a while, you do find some nuggets of interesting traces like uh, those with errors or slow requests. But then the question is, what's the best way to find these little nuggets of gold um, amongst our, mon our, our mountain of spans? And so to help explain how we do this, I want to draw an analogy to how pulsars are detected. So pulsars are essentially dead stars that are spinning very rapidly, um, emitting radio waves um, at a clock-like period, like, much like a lighthouse. Um, so when those signals arrive to Earth, they're mixed in with other noise from either space or Earth, Earth-bound sources, um, like mobile phones or TV or radio, uh, radio stations. So as you can see from that first row, it's not really clear that there is a pulse there amongst all that noise. But if we know the period of these uh, pulses, then we could cut this signal up into that period and start adding those signals together. And so the idea is that the pulse signals would accumulate up uh, while the noise cancels, cancels each other out, leaving a distinct pulse as we see at the bottom here. So the gold and the pulse in our analogy is like the single example error or slow span uh, from a service or operation. And the mountain of soil or the noise, uh, it's much like the, the millions of spans from hundreds or even thousands of service operations to search through. And much like adding the pulsar signal together so that uh, to, to find that distinct, sig that distinct pulse, uh, we aggregate the spans to highlight uh, the statistic statistically significant issues from the request uh, errors or duration metrics that we gather. Uh, these are also known as red metrics. So now that we have our aggregated span data, uh, what are some real some real world uh, use cases that we could apply it to? So here I list out a few of these use cases that come to mind. The first one being uh, a high level view of application health in our organization. And a good uh, application of this, a good use case for this is when we um, uh, deploy uh, a new service, for instance, uh, a new version of our service um, with a new feature. And we want to make sure that um, this doesn't impact uh, the organization in terms of increasing error rates or latencies uh, for other services. And so having these, um, these uh, metrics here with like say sorting by error rates or latency, we can make sure that there are no additional spikes added. In a similar vein, we could use these metrics to set up uh, SLAs uh, to monitor on to make sure that we don't exceed say our 1% SLA on error rates um, and be alerted on them. And finally, an interesting use case that was brought that was brought to my attention uh, recently um, in the Jaeger Slack channel was the ability to detect and identify spans that exceed uh, what's what what's expected uh, what's the expected latency, and we can measure this expected latency by uh, computing the the average latency across many of these spans for that service or operation. So here we see a sneak peek at a proposed um, at a proposal that we're working on 
of a high level view of application health um, per service uh, with the ability to drill down from that service into um, the operations and then into its subsequent traces. Uh, so you can see here a list of these services with their average latencies, their request rates and their error rates, along with the impact, which is uh, the latency multiplied by the requests. Um, here's an example of the open telemetry collector configuration. Um, that's the configuration that's required to enable span aggregation. And the idea here is to actually emphasize um, how easy it is to enable span aggregation in open, open telemetry collector, which is literally um, at least three lines of config. Um, and these config lines are the span metrics line here and telling it to export to the Prometheus um, exporter and adding the span metrics export uh, processor uh, into our pipeline. And on the right hand side here, I've uh, illustrated a simplified architecture diagram uh, just to give some context on where the span metrics processor resides uh, in the bigger picture. Um, and so we can see here from our instrumentation um, emitting spans to open telemetry collector. Uh, we have a receiver to receive these spans that sends them to the processor, to our span metrics processor. And this processor then forks the data. Um, so firstly, the spans down to the Jaeger exporter uh, so that we can view these spans in Jaeger. And secondly, from the metrics that were aggregated into the Prometheus exporter down to the metrics collector to persist those metrics and then Grafana to query that data. We also have a work in progress where uh, Jaeger is able to query this data, this metrics data. And here's a snapshot of a Grafana dashboard that I put together uh, just to illustrate um, the possible visualizations that you could create uh, from the span metrics data. So for example, in this first panel here, I've uh, drawn up um, a histogram uh, of the of the span latencies, um, where each column refers to the uh, the latency in milliseconds, along with their counts. So the current status of span metrics processor is that it's currently available for use in open telemetry, and I'd encourage you to please try it out and welcome any feedback. And coming soon to Jaeger is the ability to read span metrics data and using this data to enhance the UI um, <clears throat> in a similar, similarly with the mock, in a similar, uh, with a similar idea to the mock-up that I showed earlier. Uh, I know that it's a lot of information to take in uh, with little background context. So I've added this uh, resources page, uh, resources slide uh, for you to refer to later on. Um, so yeah, so resources on how to uh, view the source code and documentation on the span metrics processor, uh, along with Jaeger documentation um, and a link to our Slack, uh, our Slack forum, um, our Slack channel, and also um, documentation for the open telemetry uh, information. So if you want to learn more about how to how to configure it and how it's uh, designed and architected, um, definitely there's some good documentation there. Uh, that's for now. Thanks very much for listening and happy tracing.